Well, the Kroger Albertsons mega merger is in jeopardy. The Federal Trade Commission filed a lawsuit to block that deal. The FTC says they are suing to keep prices low. But Kroger says the lawsuit would do the opposite. Before reporting on breaking news earlier, Sean Delancey was hearing from shoppers about the federal government coming after Cincinnati's own Kroger grocery chain. For many, every trip to the grocer has been kind of harder to manage. Feels more expensive than the last. It's affected me, uh, you know, too much. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have the you know, the funds, you know, to do what I want to do. Dobbs Wilson says he's had to shift a lot of his budget to food as prices skyrocket at stores like Kroger downtown. I just go in there, get a little, little at a time. That's why he's applauding the Federal Trade Commission's lawsuit to block a near $25 billion merger between Kroger and Albertson. The FTC alleges the company's mega merger would stifle competition, leading to increased prices and lower wages for employees. I think it is good that they doing that, you know. Kroger reps declined an interview, but fired back in a statement, saying the merger blocker would lead to the increased prices the FTC wants to prevent. On a company website, The combination of Kroger and Albertsons is about creating more opportunities. CEOs from both companies touted the billions that would be invested in store upgrades and lower prices if the merger goes through. Still, everyday shoppers. I hope prices go down so we can be able to put more food on our kids' table. Price relief can't come soon enough. Do you expect it to or? I expect for it to go down. I got hopes that it will. In downtown, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.